So Chris, how are you enjoying Copenhagen Fashion Week so far? Oh, it just started, we just went to see the kids show actually, and now uh, yeah, Freya Dalsu, the opening show. I think there's a good vibe today. I, I think that there's uh, been quite some good stories out there right now. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, gen I'm feeling like a, a, a positive and generous vibe this season. <laughs> very, very nice to hear. So this was Freya Dalsu's debut show. Yeah. What were you expecting and did you get what you expected? Actually, I wasn't expecting a lot because the only thing I've ever seen for her is like uh, bathing suits and the caps. And I think she was, uh, I was ple pleasantly surprised by uh, her, her feeling of, uh, of sculpture and also the way that she sort of balanced like a, a basketball uniform with like a 70s or 60s Federation ba Balenciaga and some YSL, the feathers. I thought it was a very like a, a funny, a very modern way of, of doing like a tough woman with a touch of elegance. So, from an editorial perspective, how much inspiration do you gather at Copenhagen Fashion Week? Quite a lot. It's all about finding out what is a woman right now. It's like, uh, is she tough? Is she romantic? Is she like, uh, is she having trouble, or is she like generally a positive? And I think quite now, this season, the last couple of seasons, there's been like quite a tough woman or a strong woman, and and that's what we're working on in the magazine right now. It's like we're trying to, to really. Uh, Yes, they really like portray a, a confident woman in these times. Wonderful. And what are you looking forward to the next couple of days? Uh, uh, what would I always love? What would I? I'm wearing my. Yeah, the last thing I bought was them, and obviously also Soland and then Melina Burger because it's always so funny just to see a front row of like old people and all of the celebs and champagne. I, I love it all. <laughs> it's all part of the fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. You too.